So what really excites me about uh, CPHI 2016 is the engagement with, with our key customers. It's very busy three days, um, a, lot of, a lot of meetings, but it's really good to have all those dialogues. Another thing that, that I find exciting about this show um, is related to innovations. Um, when, you, when you walk the halls, when you meet um, with your customers, there's a lot of innovations happening in the industry. Um, and of course, also with, with our company. Um, recently, we launched a new excipient called Partec SRP80 um, that's designed to allow our customers um, for superior controlled release formulations. And last evening at the CPHI award dinner, um, we got one of the awards for this specific product, which makes us really proud. Over the past 10 years, um, the most notable change has been in the area of, of regulations and the regulatory framework we, we operate in. Um, there have been a lot of changes um, and um, ultimately leading to a higher safety for patients. And our company has started very early already in the, in the mid 2000s um, to roll out and establish the improved quality and regulatory program. And we have subsequently expanded it over the past 10 years to um, make it fit to the regulatory framework. Antibody drug conjugates uh, create a lot of excitement um, in the industry, but also um, within, within our company. Um, and this is, I would say, predominantly for, for two reasons. Um, antibody drug conjugates um, come along with an improved safety profile, um, ultimately for, for patients. On the other hand, also, um, ADCs um, allow for a greater efficacy of the therapy through the combination of a, um, of a, of a small and large molecule. Today, there are only two um, antibody drug conjugates on the market. However, there's a very strong and robust um, pipeline um, throughout the preclinic and clinical phases. And um, the pipeline is growing um, continuously. So more and more companies are investing into ADCs. So um, there's a good potential um, around ADCs in the future. Talking about special challenges uh, for antibody drug conjugates, I would really like to highlight the supply chain and the complexity of the supply chain. Um, because you're not only covering a biologic, not only covering a small molecule, but it's really the combination of the two. And there are not many companies out there who can offer a true end-to-end um, -end solution for um, antibody drug conjugates. Our company has more recently invested into a, a commercial ADC conjugation facility in uh, our St. Louis campus, um, which puts us in a very um, good spot covering the entire supply chain for antibody drug conjugates. If we meet here again, should meet again here in, in 2020, um, what I would like to see um, at CPHI is an even stronger focus on, on innovations. There's so much innovations happening in our industries around novel therapeutic approaches, for instance. We've spoken about ADCs. Um, there's a lot going on around gene editing. Um, this, I think, deserves a larger share of voice in the CPHI in future. So that would be something I would like to see reflected stronger. <music>